Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Keegan here and welcome back to the channel. I am back with a brand new video for you guys and a uh, happy Father's Day everybody. So uh, today's video I'm bringing you guys is another edition of Keegan's Movie Reviews and the movie I'm going to be talking about today is a movie I saw in theaters on Friday last week and this is a movie I've been looking forward to for a while when it was announced and that we're going to be talking about today ladies and gentlemen is Crimes of the Future, which is the new David Cronenberg film. And uh, this is not only David Cronenberg's first film in eight years, but also his return to the body horror genre, the genre where he started, which the last movie he directed that was a body horror related movie was Existence, was, which was back in uh, 1999. And the previous film David Cronenberg directed was Maps to the Stars from 2014, which Maps to the Stars wasn't a terrible movie. It wasn't a great movie either, but it was it was all right, but definitely not one of Cronenberg's best movies. And Crimes of the Future was released on June 3rd, 2022. So this film came out almost two weeks ago. Anywho. And uh, one more thing before we get into this review. This movie shares the t same title of a short film that David Cronenberg directed back in the 70s of the same name. Although it doesn't share the same plot line as that movie. So anyways, I'm just going to go into the storyline. Well, try not to give away too much of it as possible. And then give my thoughts on this movie. So anyways, without further ado, let's take a dive into Crimes of the Future. So Crimes of the Future takes place somewhere in the future. And I think the world is supposedly affected by, like, climate change or something like that. And humans are evolving, like, their bodies and organs are transforming into mutations and stuff like that. Like, they're just, like, adapting to the synthetic environment that surrounds them. And you got this, um, I think he's, like, a surgeon or something named Saul Tenor played by Viggo Mortensen, which this is Viggo Mortensen's fourth collaboration with Cronenberg. And um, Viggo Mortensen's character, he's like a scientist or something, who's uh, showcasing the uh, evolution of the human organs of the because of the environment that's affected all the people in the future. And there's a group that's trying to shed light on what could be next for the humans, like human evolution. And they basically perform surgery on like people like while they're awake or something with this like machine that looks like it was made out of like, made out of like organs and shit like that. It's kind of a, uh, kind of a ambitious storyline I'm trying to describe as best I can without giving away too much so in a nutshell basically the human the human body has evolved with the the synthetic environment and all the uh, parts of the body and organs are evolving with the environment and there are some people that are trying to outlaw the uh, procedures that people could people could do to uh, change their bodies with like the mutations and stuff like that and uh, that's basically the storyline in a nutshell as best as I can describe it so um, yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and get my thoughts on the movie now I want to start off by saying I was really blown away by the teaser trailer when the teaser trailer came out about a month ago or something like one or two months ago before this movie was released. I didn't see the other trailers for it besides the teaser trailer. That's all I really wanted to see. And I thought it looked really, really cool. And it looked like David Cronenberg was going back to the body horror genre. And he did. And uh, I must say, for a comeback film, I'd say it's pretty good. It's definitely much better than um, Maps to the Stars, which was his previous movie. Well, like I said at the beginning of the video, I didn't think that movie was horrible by any means but it certainly wasn't a great movie either but I thought it was all right but I will say Crimes of the Future is a much better movie than that one although I will say Crimes of the Future is not 
Cronenberg's strongest film, but I will say it's his, one of his better, more recent films, I'll say that. And a good comeback to the body horror genre. It's not, I wouldn't really say it's a horror movie. I'd say it's more of a thriller or something like that. There are definitely a lot of disturbing scenes in this movie, especially the scene where they do an autopsy on a dead child, which was probably the scene that kind of disturbed me the most. It was like, Jesus. And there's also the scene where this guy has his eyes and his mouth stitched and he has ears all over his body. That scene was actually pretty freaky. It was like, what the hell? You even see that in the teaser trailer. That part kind of freaks me out, to be honest. But uh, I enjoyed uh, Crimes of the Future for what it was, although it's definitely not Cronenberg's strongest film, and the storyline isn't necessarily the strongest, especially at the end when the film ends abruptly, like out of nowhere. It's like, wait, what the hell? But uh, the storyline could have been... The writing could have been a little bit better, but it did have an interesting premise. But although I did enjoy the movie for what it is, I didn't necessarily love it, but I will say it's one of Cronenberg's better movies I've seen. Well, some of his better than some of his more previous films. Better than Maps to the Stars for sure. But um, I thought this movie was pretty good. I could probably, I'll probably watch it again someday. I will say that this movie is not really a movie for everybody. You may like it, you may not like it. Especially if you're a fan of some of Cronenberg's other movies. But um, I enjoyed Crimes of the Future for what it is. Although, it's not one of Cronenberg's best movies. But I will say it's one of his better, more recent films, I'll say that. But uh, other than that, I thought Crimes of the Future was pretty good. A pretty good comeback film after an eight year long hiatus but i don't really have too much else to say but i'm gonna give crimes of the future a 7.3 out of 10 so that's it for this review well guys that wraps up another edition of keegan's movie reviews thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys enjoyed this video feel free to leave a like leave a comment below and subscribe for more videos like this and feel free to follow me on instagram and letterbox the links are in the description down below and uh, what are your thoughts on this movie? Let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, that's all for this video. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. And until next, uh, until next time, this is Keegan Shepard signing off. And thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.